name is Glenn Packy Wheeler. I'm the spotter for the 21 car at Carpenter Racing. Uh, mostly the safety of the driver in the car while he's on track. My middle name is Patrick. I couldn't pronounce it as a child, so it's been there for a few years. Uh, I raced uh, District 37 AMA motorcycles in Southern California and graduated up to the SCORE uh, Desert Series and that's I started in off-road and uh, first year in IndyCar was 1991. Uh, I worked for Target Chip Ganassi Racing and uh, I was asked to spot for uh, Scott Dixon and the first event uh, that I did with Scott. We won at the Homestead Miami Speedway and uh, people think I'm successful at what I've done, but I've just been blessed with having to be able to work with some very talented people. So. Well, I, I am the service director for Bell Racing USA. So uh, at the events, I take care of all the drivers uh, that wear a Bell helmet. Um, the owner of the team, Ed Carpenter, has been a Bell driver for several years, and we have a very unique and, and prosperous relationship with Ed Carpenter Racing, and uh, I have a little workstation here inside the trailer, so when the car isn't on track, I normally, you know, just tuning up, putting on new tear-offs, cleaning the, you know, taking care of the visors, not only in the uh, IndyCar series, but uh, whatever support series is are here. Mazda Road to Indy or you know IMSA doesn't matter who they're here if there are clients we we service them full time well uh, I live in uh, the Fernandina Beach area of Florida which is Amelia Island and uh, when I'm home I play some golf and like to swim and I'm an avid gardener uh, as I was trained as a landscaper as a child growing up, I mean, I went to school for, for landscaping, and uh, so those are my enjoyments. Spending time with my wife of 36 years and my, my little Yorkshire Terrier. My kids are okay, too. I think that uh, working here for Tony George and, and being able to participate in the Indy 500 is a lifelong dream of, of, I think, anyone who works in this business. To be able to be associated with four different winners through my career, uh, some spotting and some as a crew member, have been, you know, probably would be the highlight and pinnacle of anybody's career. When I first started, I thought it was just cool just to be involved. Never thought I'd have a chance to win when I saw mostly like Team Penske cars winning, you know, throughout the years. It's just always a, uh, you know, you just kind of thought, you know, you never thought one day it would be you. Uh, I feel blessed to have been involved with those winners, and my only hope for the future would be that my son, who's semi followed in my footsteps and works with Sebastian Bourdais, would have the chance to, uh, to have one of these victories at the Speedway. very unique situation because I went from working with a team to actually working for Dan himself and I work for uh, DW Motorsports. So of one of only three employees who's a man that touched my life in a very positive way and I'm forever grateful for the friendship that he showed to me and the trust that he put into me with working with him. It's, it's something that I will never forget and I will cherish forever. I mean, it's never easy as the years go past. You know, we have a dear friend now who's recovering from injuries, you know, in the hospital. And it doesn't have to be someone that you work with or for. This, this is humans of racing and that's a side that sometimes people don't understand that there are lofty highs such as winning an Indy 500, which Dan did which was my fourth in May of 2011. 
and I would have never dreamed that it would have went to such a low in the last event at Las Vegas. So that, that there should explain to anybody the highs and lows that this, this sport has. But one thing this sport is, it is family. And I've been, it's been a pleasure to be involved for like 27 years. This is my family outside of my family, it really is. This team here comprised of a lot of people, teams that I worked on, I was blessed to work with Tar Target Chip Ganassi and AJ Foyt through the years, and I'm just saying that it's all a family. And I don't know if people really understand that or not, how, how much we are family and we do stick together. I think that, that just a passion for the sport, you know, gives you the credentials to, to really become involved. Um, I don't know what special tools it really takes to become a spotter. Like I say, I, I never was trained. I was asked to do it for, you know, Target Chip Ganassi by Mike Hull. He gave me the first opportunity to do it. But I think that's the biggest thing is, it wasn't a dream of mine to be a spotter. I'm sure some kids out there, you know, have dreams of maybe doing that. I think every child's dreams can be fulfilled if they want something bad enough. Uh, it's just, it's hard work and it's, you know, it, it's really, you know, just pursuing it, right? I mean, whether you're in music or you're in sports or whatever, timing has a lot to do with things, but I think being persistent about things also, uh, you know, just getting involved, you know, starting at a local level. I would just like everybody to at least remind, you know, think of me as, as being someone who was there for them and a friend. Uh, I mean, more than any win or anything else, uh, friendship goes a long ways. Last evening I had dinner here in Sonoma with a, with a kid that I grew up with as a child uh, in North Long Beach, California, and hadn't seen for 40 years. And 40 years later, I mean, you know, he appears here through Facebook, you know, and, and continuing friends, and that's the thing. I mean, friends and family are the most important thing in the world, other than God.